We're on Eduyod, Perek Dalit, Mishnah Aleph, Chapter 4, Mishnah 1. Okay, and we're continuing to talk about Eli Dvarim, Nu Halacha, Nu, the list of Halachot, and these are the things, Mikule Beit Shammai, Umi Chumre Beit Hillel, the leniencies of Beit Shammai, and the Chumre, the stringencies of Beit Hillel. Normally, Beit Hillel is Machmer, but in a certain amount of places, Beit Shammai are, are the 23 places that Beit Shammai are lenient, and Beit Hillel is Machmer. Okay, so in order to understand this halachot, these halachot also are from Mesechet Beitza. So in order to understand these halachot, we need to have a sort of a little bit of a primer in in halachot in Hilchot uh, um, Beitza in Mesechet Beitza. All right, let's dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kama. So the Torah says the following: this is a, the Beitza is about halachot of Yom Tov. Okay, and the Torah says when uh, Hashem said when the Jewish people were supposed to connect, collect the man, He nimam tir lachem lechem min Hashemayim. God says, I'm going to rain down bread from the heavens. And a piece of should collect every day. Will they follow my Torah or not? And on the sixth day, they should prepare. They should prepare that which they bring. And they'll have double. They should have double. So on Shabbat, a Shabbat or Yom Tov requires hachana. It says vechinu. You have to prepare from Chol to Yom Tov. And if it's not prepared, chafet shlochan meirosh, something that's not prepared from chol to yom tov is called eno mina muchan, unprepared, not ready, or in our terms, you might have heard this term, mukze. Mukze means pushed aside, pushed aside, not designated, undesignated for use. Okay, that that's an important rule. So if I have something and I say I'm saving this uh, this thing, like if I have a water bottle and I say this water bottle will only be for for use on Chol, not on Shabbat. Why would I do that? I don't know. But if I do that, so let's say some say, like if I have a store and I sell water bottles and I don't I don't use them, I don't go down to the store. That's called Eno Mina Muchan or Mukse. You can't use it. You can't go down to the store and pick things out if, you're, if you never use stuff from the store on Shabbat or on Yom Tov. The same is true whether I prepare it or whether nature prepares it or God prepares it. If it's prepared before Yom Tov, it's prepared. And if it's not, it's not. So if I've got a chicken, and this is what we're going to talk about, a beta, that's like a beta, a beta okay? If I have a chicken, if the, if the, the chicken, and I use, and I shech the chicken, the chicken is prepared uh, from, from uh, is, uh, on, on, is, is, if the chicken that I might eat, so we all know if, let's say, on Yom Tov, right, if I want to eat the chicken on the seventh day of Pesach, I can shech the chicken. That's no problem at all. Okay? Why? Because I'm allowed to eat shech on Yom Tov. But what happens, though, if I if I want if an egg is laid on Yom Tov or an egg is laid on an egg is laid on Shabbat, okay. So the if if the if it comes after a Yom Tov, so let's say you have Yom Tov here and Shabbat the next day, if an egg is laid on Shabbat, so the egg was become being prepared on in the insides of the chicken on the day before on Yom Tov, but as we says, but Chazal say that in order to prepare lachana, it has to be. Hachana, not from Chol. Chol is mechin, the Shishi, Yom Shishi is mechin the Shabbat. The Chol is mechin for Yom Tov. Chazal said, uh, Yom Tov is not mechin the Yom Tov. Where am I? Okay, Yom Tov is not mechin for Yom Tov. Chol is prepared for Yom Tov, and Yom Tov is not. So if the chicken was born here on this day, then the, the egg was prepared. If the egg was born, was laid here, then the egg was prepared on Chol. But if the egg is laid here, then the egg is prepared in the guts of the body on Yom Tov. And Yom Tov is not mechin. Yom Tov can't prepare, as we're going to see for Chol. So therefore, Beit Sashenol Dabi Yom Tov, an egg that's born on Yom Tov, Beit Shame Omim Te'achel, you can eat it. Beit Tila Omim Lo Te'achel. And it says it cannot be eaten. So we're going to learn this only according to the Bartunura. The way the Bartunura explains it, and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll explain to you what the Kahati says. Uh, a little, which is a little different. So Bekati says, this is talking about Yom Tov Shalachar Shabbat Askina. This is Yom Tov after Shabbat, as we just said, as I just showed you. Okay? So why in the world would Beit Shammai say, uh, why would Beit Hillel say, you can't eat an egg that was laid on, on Yom Tov after Shabbat? So like in my example, in the chart that I gave you, so it was, it was Shabbat after Yom Tov, but it's the same thing or the other way around. If Yom Tov is here on the first day of Pesach, right? So the egg was laid on Yom Tov after a Shabbat. Why? What, what in the world? What's the problem with the Yom Tov after Shabbat? Why? Because the any egg that was born that was laid now, right? It was it was ready. It was prepared in the in the in the innards of the chicken from yesterday. 
But him say it, and it turns out Shabbat mechina liyom tov. Right, it's being prepared on Shabbat for Yom Tov. The Torah Amra and the Torah says vaya bayom hashishich vechinu. Right, that we just learned that that they had to prepare on the sixth day. Ustam shishi cholu. Every sixth day is Yom Chol. This is what we said. Chol mechin the Shabbat Yom Tov. Chol can prepare for Shabbat for Shabbat. The Chol mechin the Yom Tov. Okay. The En Yom Tov mechin the Shabbat. The Lo Shabbat mechina the Yom Tov. Yom Tov cannot prepare for Shabbat, and Shabbat can't prepare for Yom Tov. Even though God is preparing this chicken, this animal for, but right, or like on this Shabbat before the first day of Pesach, nonetheless, so the egg is laid in the first day of Pesach, it was prepared on Shabbat, and therefore the Beit Sa is prohibited according to Beit Hillel. Whereas Beit Shammai says, sorry, that's not considered hachana. That's what Beit Shammai, that's what, that's what, that's what the, the Bartanur explains. I'll just tell you, the Kahati says it totally differently. The Kahati says, no. We're not only talking about a specific Yom Tov after Shabbat, any Yom Tov. Why? Because Beit Shammai, Beit Hillel, agree according to that Kahati. They agree that if the animal was laid on Shabbat after on Yom Tov after Shabbat, it's Asur. But everyone agrees about that. The question is, on a regular Yom Tov, are you gozer, regular Yom Tov, atu Yom Tov after Shabbat? I'll just leave it at that. If you want, you can look at the Kahati and see it yourself. Okay, that's the Machloket. Beit Shammai is Mekel, Lingen, and Beit Hillel says, Beit Hillel says, Lo Te'echadar Machmir. Next halacha, we're going to talk about the idea of se'or. Beit Shammai omrim se'or bekazayit vechamis bekakotevet. Okay, se'or is leaven. It's like you need our yeast. The thing they they, they had starter. If you ever made sourdough bread, leaven is the stuff you put into the flour and mix with the water, and that makes that makes the, the dough rise. Okay, and chametz is the dough that you make that rises. It's a bread that you bake from it. So the question is, how much of each, how much of them is a, of a measurement? Is enough that you have to, that's prohibited, not for achila, but here we're talking about the Indian achila, kule amalo pligi For achila, for eating, everyone agrees, on Pesach, we're talking about Pesach, you're not allowed to eat sour, you eat starter, it's a kezai. You eat chame, it's a kezai. You're a chayim kare, bad. Okay? Me, the pasuk, the, the pasuk starts. So, or, so, what we're talking about, we're talking about, ki pligi the inyan bi or. When we're talking about bi or chametz, having to destroy it, you have says, but there's a halacha ba'ye ra'en ba'ye matzeh. So for eating, it says se'or lo yimatzeh b'batechem, and then it says ki kol ochel machmetzet. If you eat a machmetzet, and it says se'or is chametz, Rabbanu learn out chametz ma eating ochel machmetzet. If you eat machmetzet or you eat se'or, that's a kezayit. Where do they argue the inyan bi or? How much when, there's halacha? Not only you're not allowed to eat chametz, you have to do bi or chametz. You have to destroy it. Beit Shammai says, since the Mirkat of Rachman of the Trevay is Seor of Hametz, okay, since in the, in the, in the, in the Pasuk of Bior, let me find the Pasuk of Bior, it says, Shemot Perk Yugimo, Masor Yechel Shivat Yamim, you have to eat Matzah for 37 days. Velo Yerae Lecha Hametz, Velo Yerae Lecha Seor Bechol Gvulacha. It says, Val Yerae, and there's also a Lecha Velo Yimatzeh, but it says, Velo Yerae Lecha Hametz, Velo Yerae Seor. So Beit Shammai says, since it says Hametz, and it says Seor, Let's go back separately. We'll go back to our Mishnah. Therefore, Shema Mina Shiro Kazeh, Lo Shiro Kazeh. So you learn from there that the measurements are not the same. Why would it say the same thing twice? It should say Chametz Seor, Seor, or whatever, Chametz. Well, it should say, you should not have Chametz. And then you would know Seor is a kind of Chametz. Since it says each one specifically differently, Seor, yes, is Kazai, like eating, but Chametz is Kotevit. It's a small fig. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a larger amount. Just like achila is kezayit for both, for for biur zeb is zeb kezayit. Both are kezayit as well. And the fact that the Torah says yilo yere twice for chasor, okay, yafinan biur mi achila. We learn here from achila, and each one is uh, the size, the minimum, the maximum size of kezayit. If you have a kezayit, you have to do biur. As we did, we'll stop here. Dedicate, we dedicated our learning. If you have comments or questions, email me at arspolter at gmail.com. Have a great day.